Hi, I'm Dorothy from CTN. We are here to cover UCD SVP Sleepout. Hi, we are here with Vinny who is sleeping out tonight. Vinny. Is this your first time? Um, well, Monday was my first time, so it's only my second time. First time this year, anyway. And what are you hoping to achieve by this move? Um, I suppose get an idea of what it's like to be homeless in Ireland. It's quite a tough uh, situation, so... It's only for a week and it's still quite a tough thing for, for me to do. Like, I tried to do Monday to Thursday and I had to give up on Tuesday because I was too tired. To, I couldn't do back-to-back -back days even, so it gives you an idea, kind of a glimpse into uh, life on the streets. Mm -hmm. That's not enough. <laughs> and why are you care about this move? Sorry? Why are you care about this move? Oh, um, it's just a good thing to get involved with in college, I think. Because, uh, I don't know, you, you get kind of a good feeling from doing, doing it. It's kind of a useful use of time. Okay. Like, say, most of the time you might be just going to class or kind of lounging around in a bar somewhere. So it's nice to do, like, once a week, do something for someone else. So I enjoy it. Is it your first time sleeping out? Yeah, this is my first night, yeah. Um, it started on Monday. A few of them were doing it for the whole night, but, um, this is my, it's my only night so far, but I might do it for the rest of the week, we'll see. And what are you hoping to achieve? Um, I think the main objective is just trying to raise awareness, and I know that, I think, behind the, um, the skydive last year, I raised the most money as well for, for the homeless, and it all goes back into the soup kitchen money and stuff that we do mm -hmm. throughout the week. So, yeah, it's to raise awareness and, and money as well for the cause. Why is it important? Um, it's just a major issue that's not really... Um, dealt with properly by the government and you know the, the only way to really go about it is to create awareness. I think there's over 5,000 people living on the streets in Dublin and or in Ireland in total and um, it shouldn't really be the case so something needs to be done I guess. This is Claire from me, one of the organisers of the Sleep House. Hi Claire. Hi, how are you doing? I'm good, thank you. How are you? Yeah, a little bit cold but good. <laughs> yeah, I agree. So, how do you think homeless people will benefit from this move? Um, well, we've been running the Homeless Week uh, for a good couple of years now. Um, it's always been a great success. Traditionally, it's always been a fundraising event um, to bring money in for the homeless activities that we that we run. So, um, four nights a week, we our volunteers head out uh, into Dublin City um, and they go out on a soup run. So, essentially, they do some shopping, um, they make soup and sandwiches, and they head out around Dublin, Temple Bar, Grattan Street, all the places you guys know, um, distributing soup, sandwiches, cup of tea, cup of coffee. Um, to the homeless people around Dublin, um, so it's we, we feel it's a very very important activity. Um, it's less, to be honest, about handing out food and more about extending kind of a hand of friendship. So for us, all of the money that we raise during Homeless Week goes directly to funding all of those soup runs. Um, so it's, it's, it's really it's really important thing um, for, for us to, to get the funds in. Um, but also this week doubles as an awareness raising event. So. It gets us to put homelessness on the agenda and to really push it on campus and say to people, well, look, you know, this is what SVP is. Um, homelessness is a real issue in Dublin and it's something that everyone needs to be thinking about. And why do you think society discriminates homeless people? Um, that's a difficult question to answer. Um, I think a lot of people's thoughts on homelessness are based maybe on just a small minority um, of maybe troublemakers. Mm -hmm. um, and we have troublemakers in every section as part of society and of course in the homeless population in, in Ireland you're going to have um, one or two given a bad name. Uh, in my opinion uh, the majority of people who are either maybe sleeping rough or who don't have a home to go to, um, they're lovely people. Um, I've chatted and talked to so many of them, they've got fantastic stories, they're great personalities um, and so they have a bad rap. Um, so a lot of people maybe who have a bad opinion of them um, associate it with uh, drug abuse or, you know, drunken behaviour on Dublin streets. But in my opinion, I don't know, you can see worse behaviour outside coppers, you know, in a student night. Uh, the systems aren't in place to kind of, to, to, to get people off the streets. Um, they're, yeah, it's just not, it's not as easy as giving someone keys to a house and saying off you go. There, there are a lot of factors that you need to, you need to tackle.